In the last video, we learned how to graph some simple functions using fplot. The trouble with fplot, well, it has two troubles. One is that you need to know the formula for the function that you're plotting. And the other is that it only plots one graph at a time. In this video, we're going to learn how to use plot to get more complicated graphs. So first, let's make a list of numbers. Lin space gives you a, a list of numbers starting from your initial value to your final value, and you can tell it how many numbers to include. So I told it to give me 41 numbers starting at negative 1 and going all the way up to 3. Now, if we just do Lin space without anything, it gives you 100. Let's do it with 41, because 100 is overkill. And then we might have y, oops, y is x squared. And I put the semicolon there, because I don't want to look at all the values of y. I just want to have y be x squared. So we've got 41 numbers. And then if I say plot x, y, it gives me a plot of x versus y. There we go. Okay. Now, if I wanted to have a plot of x, x, that gives me a plot of x versus x, which is, of course, a straight line. What if I wanted to have a plot of x and a plot of x squared, and maybe also a plot of x cubed, all on the same graph? Well, the trick to that is is the command hold on. So we've got a plot of x versus x, and if you say hold on, then when I plot x versus y, instead of erasing the previous graph, it puts it on top. So here we have a graph of x versus x, y equals x. Here we have a graph of y equals x squared. And if we wanted, we could define a variable which is x cubed and plot x versus z. And now we've got a graph of x, x squared, and x cubed all on the same graph. Now, and then we can say hold off. Now we're, we just undid the hold on. Now it turns out that you can do that all in one command. We could have said plot x versus x and x versus y and x versus z, and that would do the same. That would give us our figure with the three functions x, x squared, and x cubed. Okay? So, as with anything else, we can add titles. So we can say title. So, sorry, we can put an x label. We'll just call it x. And we'll put a y label, powers of x and maybe a title, graphs of x, x squared, and x cubed. And now we've got our figure with an x label, a y label, and a title. It's still a little messed up. We still want to go into the figure editor and pull up our axes properties. And we want to put the x-axis at the origin. And we want to put the y-axis at the origin. And, you know, this is a little hard to read. One of these grows so much that the others are too small. So let's shrink our, our x range. Instead of going from negative 1 to, to 3, we'll go from negative 1 to 1 and a half. And there you go. You've got the three graphs, y equals x, y equals x squared, y equals x cubed. But you've got no way of telling which is which. So we're going to put a legend on this. When you say legend, we're going to say x, x squared, x cubed. And it knows to make the... The first one correspond to the first plot. The second one correspond to the second plot. The third one correspond to the third plot. So now our graph has a legend on it. 
as before, we might want to tinker with things, like we might want our figures to, to be a bit bigger. And we might want to move the legend so that it's to get it out of the way. If you click on the pointer, then you click on any one object, and you have the power to do things with it. So we'll move it around. And now we've got ourselves our figure, and we can export it and save it in whatever format we like. Finally, if you're printing something out, you probably don't want it in color because most colors don't print out very well on black and white printers. If instead we say plot x, x, uh, um, uh, let me type this in. What I did is by putting in the command k minus, I said I wanted that first graph to be in black. k means black. And minus means I want it to be a solid line. The second graph, I want it to be in blue with a dashed line. The third graph, I want it to be in green with a dotted dashed line. And we'll do the same edits we did before. We'll put the same label uh, and title. We'll put the same legend. And we'll go up into our editor, axes properties. Uh, and we're going to put x goes from negative 1 to 1 1.5. We're going to put the x-axis at the origin, put the y-axis at the origin, and now we've got our graph using the colors we chose and the, the kinds of lines that we chose. To get complete information about what are the exact commands for which kinds of dot lines and which kinds of colors, do you just type help plot. And there you've got the codes for the different colors. You've got the codes for the different kinds of lines. And if you want to plot your points, you might want to plot them as, as dots or circles or X's or pluses or whatever you want. And you put these three commands, put these commands in there and it'll give you a customized 